Hola, Cuba. I hope you're doing good. Um, I, I am first. I wanted to tell you I am so thankful for Miss Triplet for doing this for me. You guys can still keep talking. Um, I'm so thankful to Miss Triplet for covering your class for me. I'm so sorry. I'm teaching fifth graders right now. While you're watching this video, I'm teaching fifth grade. So I wanted to first have you show off to Miss Triplet all of our gestures. So show me le gusta. Now show me no le gusta. Now show me le gusta mucho. Now show me tiene. Como se dice tiene en inglés? Uno, dos, tres. Has. Good job. Y como se dice quiere? Quiere. Uno, dos, tres. Wants. Muy bien. Excelente. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do today is one word that we learned a little bit during the book of life was le da, gives. Porque Manolo le da un cerdo, oink, oink, a María. Y María le da una guitarra a Manolo. So le da is sheer he gives. If you look at the hand behind me, it says doy. Doy means I give. Doy gracias por. So I'm going to see if I can flip this camera. It looks like I can't. So this says doy gracias por. Um, and doy gracias por means I give thanks for. And then you have five fingers of things I give thanks for. So yo doy gracias por bricolage, por mi familia, por mi perro, woof, woof. por mi clase, mi clase que tiene muchos unicornios, mi clase que tiene, tiene Señor Alex. Hey. Look, it looked like I was picking his nose. Y mira Señorita Ruby. Hola. <gasps> Ella dijo hola. Increíble, increíble. So, yo doy gracias por mi clase y yo doy uh, gracias por chocolate. Chocolate es mi favorito. What you're going to do is Miss Triplet has a whole bunch of these paper hands. So, you're going to get a paper hand and then using markers, any color you want, you're going to decorate the hand with Spanish words. I shared a picture with Miss Triplet that she's going to put up on the screen for you right now. That's this. Whoop! Mr. Alex is laughing at my drawings, you guys. <laughs> and Miss Ruby is too, which means she thinks I'm bad at art. <laughs> amigos, she recognized one. Amigos, amigos, and in English is friends. <gasps> Son mis amigos. Es mi amiga. Es mi amigo. Que fantástico. Oh, son amigos. Super bien. Okay, so these are some of the things that you can write on your fingers. It's super importante que están escribiendo en español. Porque I have a giant turkey outside. And he doesn't have enough feathers yet. And I really want to put good looking Spanish feathers on it. So I'm going to show you the giant turkey so you can see what it's going to look at this turkey. It's so big. So the coolest part about it is that only third grade and fourth grade hands are on there and it's in the fifth grade hallway which is going to drive the fifth graders nuts. But it's really exciting because it's outside the Spanish classroom. La clase de español. So, get to work, work hard, get these done, and then you get to watch a video about chocolate and where it comes from and why it's really, really important in Aztec and Mayan history. And the word actually comes from an old language that's called Quechua. So, chocolate is where the word chocolate and chocolate comes from. Cool. Love you guys and work hard for Miss Triplet and give her big hugs for me. I am so grateful for her. I should have wrote her in one of my fingers. Yo doy gracias por Señora Triplet. You guys rock. Thank you so much. Love you. Adios.